Hello everyone and now welcome to, well, what promises to be an interesting game between FQQ and Bazooka Fit. Let's go ahead and break things down. Bazooka Fit spawning as the blue night elf on the southern side of Turtle Rock 1.6, opening things up with a Fire Lord most likely. Meanwhile, FQQ opening up with a Tavern Hero as well. Interesting starts all the way around. Archers are already out, footmen now retreating back. And there may be a little bit of a scuffle here at the tavern. 2.15 minute mark. There is a Fire Lord coming in from Bazooka Fit. And what is the footman going to have? Well, footman's going to have a panda right next to him. All right, so P footmen, um, well, footmen need defend to defend off these archers and those uh, lava spawns. Meanwhile, the panda going to go ahead and try to get a, a big breath of fire off. Able to hit that back line of archers. Um, yeah, e even with that little bit of um, what natural attack. resistance to magic because of the archer's relatively low hit points, 255, they do get torn down pretty quickly. What is going to happen here? Bazooka Fit trying to pull away all of these uh, giant sea turtles as the militia are now trying to be called over as well. Panda now coming back across here. Lava spawns, well, completely out of mana on that Fire Lord. Lava spawns, are they going to be able to get blown over? No, they are not. The lava spawns are still fighting in this fight here. And you cannot really leave these guys alone. If you leave them alone, they're just going to be dealing so much damage. And then they're going to start splitting like Bazooka Fit has gotten on that first guy. Now, with an additional lava spawn there's a nice big breath of fire i mean across multiple units there goes one archer another archer could get taken down panda low on mana not able to do it as we are looking at four lava spawns what two additional from the split still pushing away these footmen do we see defend yes defend and nearly done re um, on the research side as this game has well um, started off very very quickly Boots of Speed, Staff of Teleportation, Footman now trying to double back around. Are we going to see some Militia call to arms somewhere else? Hello there. This ga game is already t uh, well, moving at an incredibly fast pace as the Brewmaster now off to the north. Going to Breath of Fire try and clear out of this Ogre Warrior Creep Camp quickly and then perhaps heal with a uh, Scroll of Regeneration. Back at home, Bazooka Fit is now already transitioning into Huntresses. Huntress is very, very effective with that well with that glaive damage against these sea turtle hatchlings here also their well their aoe damage with that glaive bounce on top of the fact that they're they are not using piercing damage make them very effective against those footmen brewmaster gonna come back home try and heal up fqq no sign of an expo uh, sh no sign of an expo as he does tech to tier two meanwhile back here a bazooka fit already is starting that tier two climb and we'll see what the secondary heroes will be all right ring of superiority two of them um, giving plus one to every single stat um, not as strong as circlets nobilities of old but a perfect category to um, come alongside those well slippers of agility mantles of intelligence and confidence of ogre strength all right the huntress had taken a large amount of damage because of the piercing damage from these sea turtles meanwhile fire lord gets up to level two does pick up um confidence of ogre strength plus three as the militia are trying to clear out to this creep camp here this potentially could be bad news as we are now looking at these units going to try and engage here are we going to see a breath of fire what's going to go down here brewmaster wants to get up to level three and now we're just going to see absolute explosions around the board as the fire lord's auto attack is due Doing major, major damage. Are, what's going to happen here? We're going to see a breath of fire finish it off. Who's going to get the explosion? Or Fire Lord. It looks as though who got the Sobe Mask? Brewmaster gets the Sobe Mask. That is incredibly important. But the Lava Spawns, Lava Spawns are still coming around here. Footman with Defend trying to hold back. But Bazooka Fit is definitely punishing his opponent here um, with a tremendous amount of damage. Panda trying to get a breath of fire. Unable to catch up to that Huntress in the end. But so much lost here by, um, by FQQ. All of his footmen, some more of these peasants, no real chance for an expo. Huntress is now catching up to these units, perhaps going to get off another explosion again. And all those peasants can do is return back home and say to themselves, well, um, are they going to try and go back? That, if that's the case, that would be absolutely strange. As we're looking at a 35 to 19 supply advantage. Bazooka fit with a clear, clear lead now at Tree of Ages, going to those Ancients of Lore, and the Ancient of War now pushing his way through. Peasants go round, <laughs> round two for gold. No. Thought, for, thought it for a moment. You know, peasants, 
Hey, my last orders were to go for that, go for the gold. Might as well try it again. Panda coming across inside the base here, looking to, well, take down these Ancients of Lore. Perhaps just try and delay the tech a little bit here as the Brewmaster is in trouble. Is he going to try to run all the way back? Staff of Teleportation down to 97 hit points and does teleport out of there safely. Selling some items, perhaps going to pick up a Scroll of Regeneration for his lonesome self. Really wished that, well, the shop perhaps had uh, well, healing salves instead of just scrolls of regeneration. All right, Militia going to shoo away this wisp here, but Militia back to that peasant form. Not going to be able to easily catch up to that wisp. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter out on the battlefield and, well, most likely going to be teching Mana Burn to shut down enemy heroes. That Demon Hunter at level, well, even at level 3 is just a very, very big pain. Being able to burn 100 points of mana while having high armor and being a, a very strong frontline hero. Give him a peer up of vitality or any additional hit points and suddenly he does become um, a very big tanky threat um, as he does have what a decent amount of hit points um, already but adding in that additional armor makes it just all of that well, all of those hit points is difficult to get through blood mage is the blood mage stuck yes he is fqq oh ivory tower um push to get out of that situation there so yeah ivory tower pushed the blood mage beyond the wall we're looking at a couple of towers being placed down in the front line spot as another well, Peasant bites the dust. Well, definitely trying to go for round two. There's that Siphon Mana. There's some Priest. This is some aggressive play by FQQ. What is he doing here? All right, Arcane Tower 1 is already up. There's a Breath of Fire. He is trying to clear out this Creep Camp. Militia are coming back across here. And this is just a crazy, crazy edge of a sword play. All right, are we going to see Tome of Intelligence? We are. Brewmaster still has decent amount of mana. Are we going to be looking at Breath of Fire? What is happening here? There's a Breath of Fire trying to blow things over. The Huntress trying to go after the Militia does find him down. Sorceresses are now out here on the battlefield as well. Perhaps a slow could be cast as well as the Brewmaster back up to 386 hit points with the help of a Priest. Gargantuan Sea Turtle, Breath of Fire, perhaps going to try and blow things over on these last couple of units. Fire Lord coming nearby. There is Slow. Who's going to get the last bit of experience? I believe the Fire Lord got the experience, but the Brewmaster got the Wand of Mana Stealing, trying to blow things over again as the Demon Hunter trying to go after some of these other targets. There's that Mana Burn, and now Arcane Tower draining mana from that Demon Hunter. Dryad's getting poked around. Druid of the Claw in druid form trying to fight as the blood mage falls at level one there's a breath of fire two huntresses fall there and who has the advantage in this fight this is just an absolute bloodbath as both sides are fighting their way through pandas hiding underneath the the range of the guard towers off looking for a little bit of protection peasants trying to make their way over and this is just an absolute absolute scary matchup Demon Hunter is at level 3, does have a potion of greater healing, has rejuvenation as well. More towers being placed down. Guard tower nearby. Brewmaster being forced to back away. There's a little bit of damage here. All right, is that Dryad going to get finished off? That is the question here as the Brewmaster, uh, well, the Brewmaster could uh, try and engage. All right, nope, they're just going to be dancing in between all of these guard towers here as the Fire Lord is taking a little bit more damage than I would have expected. All right. What is the what is the brewmaster going to do? Brewmaster could come back around the other side, perhaps try and get a little bit of an engagement here. There's some slow, there's some siphon mana. There's a breath of fire. There's a potion of healing onto the fire lord from the demon hunter. Mana being drained from the demon hunter now, given to the blood mage. And this has just been a strange, strange fight. Boots of speed on this Brewmaster means that the Brewmaster could have perhaps tried to finish off that last Druid of the Claw. One Breath of Fire plus a couple of auto attacks would have done it. Surprised that we didn't see that, in fact. Um, yeah, that, that was dangerously close as these Druids of the Claw do represent big threats once we are at Tree of Eternity and we have that mastery training done. All right. 
Spellbreakers, well, the Blood Mage continuing to try and drain mana. There's a Breath of Fire going across multiple units. These center towers trying to be used to, well, keep this center location strong. Um, there is still a Gargantuan Sea Turtle here. There's level 2 now on the Blood Mage. Rejuvenation, Siphon Mana. There was a heal there on the Blood Mage as the Brewmaster down to 22 hit points trying to stay alive. All right, Demon Hunter, is he going to get a mana burn off? There's a Banish instead as Militia or as Peasants are now being called over. How is this Brewmaster still alive? Down to 20 hit points, trying to retreat away. And now the Brewmaster playing really at the edge of a sword here. Guard Towers are all trying to engage as the Brewmaster is slowly getting healed up. All right, Blood Mage finds himself banished amongst three towers in order to stay alive. Sorceress even getting into harm's way here as the well, Brewmaster try to get a Breath of Fire off, finishes off one Drew to the Claw, and is now dancing through these targets again. Um, wow, that Brewmaster is really fighting like no one's watching. Um, unaware, uh, well, uh, hoping that he doesn't get auto-attacked by any units. We've seen him in the red for so long. Brewmaster now going after this Gargantuan Sea Turtle. Should take him down easily. Are we going to be looking at a strong consumable item? Yes, a potion of greater mana. One, the mana stealing currently just being left on the ground as more towers are being placed down. So what are we doing next? That is the question. Brewmaster, Priest, Spellbreakers, all ready to go. Coming back around here, Fire Lord, uh, Fire Lord, um, does have an orb of venom for a little bit of bonus damage here. We're looking at the Brewmaster trying to take down this Tree of Life before the Brew, before it can really get going. There's a Mana Burn here. Are we going to see some damage? There's a Breath of Fire across multiple targets as the Druid of the Claw in that front line finally transforms into that, well, beefier, stronger version of himself. We see a couple, couple of peasants here waiting for those guard towers to be done. We may be looking at some expos in just a moment. And what is going to go down here? Arcane Tower, Mana Burn, Breath of Fire as the towers are now up. Fighting amongst a sea of towers is always a dangerous proposition. Guard Tower most likely going to get cancelled here. Trying to get repaired. Is it going to get cancelled? No, it is not. Blood Mage shows up to the fight here as suddenly the Brewmaster sees a bunch of low hit point targets all ready to get taken out. Brewmaster sitting at four and a half here looking to back away. Blood mage is nearby could try and give or, or break a little bit more mana and perhaps funnel it into that brewmaster again another gar scout tower being placed down town hall also well getting set up as well this seems a little bit too far away and um, are we is he gonna need like six peasants to mine um, that might be the case there as we're looking at the Brewmaster trying to engage here. There's a Breath of Fire across. No mana burn from the Demon Hunter. Not enough mana for now. Fire Lord trying to push through. Spellbreakers trying to push on back. We are only sitting at um, at Keep, not at Castle. So without Castle, we are not going to get that control magic perhaps which could become viable strategies for those Lava Spawn channelings. Meanwhile, Brewmaster still fighting his way through. Do we see Staff of Preservation? Yes, we do. Are we going to see it used? Yes, at the last possible moment one low hit point drew to the claw trying to retreat back there there goes one the lava spawn gets taken down brewmaster or blood mage maybe getting close to three no not that close he's been taken down multiple times so two level four heroes going up against level four level two dryad's trying to retreat back here unfazed by that breath of fire however the fire lord is absolutely getting this um well getting burned literally by that breath of fire nearly getting taken out all right, Orb of Venom now on the newly trained Priestess of the Moon. We are looking at that Moonstone upgraded Moon Wells as well um, to try and heal up all of these targets. The Druid of the Claw ne really needs the uh, really needs the Moon Well more, as it can then offer to cast a Rejuvenation onto a Fire Lord. Meanwhile, the Brewmaster is looking to finish off another Gargantuan Sea Turtle. Blood Mage still sitting strong at level 2. Really wants level 3, though, to really try and shut down those enemy heroes. All right, not enough Priests out here on the battlefield. Brewmaster needs to back away. Priest going to get, well, get healed up a little bit more. There's a Tome of Agility. A couple of Huntsmen getting finished off here as the Brewmaster will slowly get healed up. All right, another Gargantuan Sea Turtle Creep Camp has been cleared out. Um, I thought there was going to be a Town Hall in the middle. One, 
One, two, three, four. Yeah. I, I think that seems a little bit far, right? He, he almost needs like two more peasants in order to be able to get it. Yeah, training up more peasants now. Masonry upgrade. Do we have masonry upgrade? No, we do not. So no masonry upgrade. No, uh, no lumber harvesting. Oh no, sorry. One masonry upgrade. No lumber harvesting upgrade. Um, even though we do see a large number of towers out here on the battlefield. All right. I'm playing with towers like it's 2005. FQQ bringing back Sky's Sky strategy of just mass towers everywhere, and well towers don't take supply so as long as you have a decent amount of towers out here on the battlefield that are there they could be difficult to handle mountain john simply walking on through here that additional guard tower to the south for that tower push or that yeah that literal tower push on the blood mage actually doing a bit of work here pushing pressure back mountain giant also gonna join in and grab it goes the club method and now gonna perhaps beat down on this altar of kings or perhaps try to take down some of these other units scroll of town portal however gonna go ahead and retreat back here and there's that well retreat back once more as we see a quick roar, perhaps a breath of fire to initiate against these Druids of the Claw. Blood Mage still sitting at two and a half, though. But the Brewmaster is sitting at level three. There's a mana burn. Doesn't even try to go for a breath of fire. And now that's just going to be a bit of a problem as the Demon Hunter gets a little bit of drained mana back as well. All right, masonry upgrades. No, only one level of masonry upgrades. 51 supply. We're going to be placing down some more ivory towers. That is going to get cleaned up easily. There's a demon hunter getting mana, mana drained as the mountain giants and, well, trying to push through all of these towers here. There's another mana burner. There's a banish. There's some more siphon mana as the blood mage should be funneling into the brewmaster if the brewmaster wants to try and blow things over against all of these units. There's a mana burn. The brewmaster still has enough mana now. It tries to blow over some of these targets, but maybe getting to the priestess of the moon in the back if there is enough mana to go around see or we're going to be looking at true shot or and the sentinel scout sentinel scout should just be launched just in case and also to not be able to drain as much mana uh, from that blood mage blood mage able to drain the mana from that priestess of the moon just a little bit but well that distance was a bit far anyways dryads gonna easily take down a scout tower off to the north that's gonna continue to give bits of experience but with so many guard towers right in the center against all of these unarmored units this is just a difficult spot to be in demon hunter was slowed unable to get to that spell breaker in the back and that spell breaker will live to fight another day all right plenty of gold to mine in the center locations lots of peasants trying to well, collect and harvest a good amount of lumber more towers still being placed down as we're nearly 20 minutes into this match now tree of life also being uh, set up turtle rock known for a lot of expos uh, expo possibilities and there are the corner red creep camps still not taken down all right demon hunter leading the charge here there's a breath of fire going across mountain giant is just going to get staff of preservation back and most likely as the push is going forward dual staff of preservation Brewmaster going to go after this, or perhaps some of these targets here. Guard Tower is continuing to push, and there's that Staff of Preservation. Breath of Fire, Banish, not enough to take down that beefy, beefy um, Mountain Giant who had who has 1,600 hit points. All right. FQQ apparently building up another expo here. Normal town hall placements? No, he is not restricted by the rules of logic and common sense. If he builds it in the wrong spot, he'll just have more workers work at it to make up for those lot for that loss in efficiency. All right, should be able to take on a couple of these two trees first, and then go after that gold mine, or perhaps try to walk around it. As we're looking at the guard towers, nearly done. All right, the guard towers, and um, they are close enough to being done that the brewmaster does want to try and protect this location here there goes another tower as the brewmaster is fighting his way through mountain giant down to 476 hit points gonna go ahead and push through as we're looking at more siphon mana there's another breath of fire lava spawn gonna get blown over here one guard tower is done more priests are coming back out here on the battlefield as the fire lord really should be using that incinerate ability to try and perhaps explode up a good number of peasants and casters as they're standing next to each other in the back 
ivory towers could still be purchased from the arcane vault they build up faster than the peasants i i think it's actually more efficient um to what build a scout tower or do a scout tower than to try and then for its speed rather than trying to uh, like speed build um normal scout tower so ivory tower versus scout tower you kind of know what i mean as well it's buying ivory towers like they're going out of style and here we are here we go once more all right there's a breath of fire there's a mana burn orb of venom getting locked on to these targets here scowl and uh, well owl scout as well there's a mana burn as the demon hunter caught in this frontline spot we're gonna see an ivory tower quickly getting canceled again blood mage still after all this time only sitting at level two and the towers here can start upgrading as well all right this would be a perfect place to just try to hide some mortar teams if we actually got there scout tower quickly going to get canceled um from that upgrade back here fqq does have a town hall uh, being set up we are going to be running up on another base here bazooka fit already setting up this town hall or this tree of life there, running off of three bases or two bases now as the main bases have already mined out at this 22 minute mark in this game there's a breath of fire pushing across again and that breath of fire from the brewmaster is starting to rack up a, quite a bit of damage demon hunter maybe get out yeah gets off another mana burn again only to get siphon mana by the blood mage once more as the guard towers able to push back that mountain giant even with medium armor 10 medium armor reducing the damage from these well piercing the towers and that 600 hit point base um, 600 hit point base continuing this pressure here uh, yep more long distance mining um don't ha don't need i don't know china i guess the chinese player is not worried about efficiency when there's enough workers to go around as the blood mage not coming across here there's a little bit of siphon man of mounted giant trying to retreat back but um, are we going to see a fight here to engage? All right. Fire Lord sitting at level four. Demon Hunter sitting at level four. Priestess of the Moon sitting at level two. We can see FQQ, even when he does build it approximately close enough, doesn't have full saturation on those peasants. So apparently not getting everything he can out of his natural resources as chimeras have taken to the skies all right chimeras with that lightning or lightning magic blast and also that range siege damage can really challenge all of these guard towers easily all right are we gonna see these towers just get taken out yes they, we are well, oddly enough i believe the chimeras are actually close enough to use um, to attack with their magic damage and their magic damage would actually be significantly more effective than the than the, their um well the siege damage just because these towers have heavy armor breath of fire coming across from the other side here fire lord nearly taken down brewmaster forced to use the scroll of town portal where is he going to teleport back to teleports back to here is he going to get healed up there's a scroll of regeneration buys a potion of healing and once more going to try and engage with four chimeras out here on the battlefield coupled with roar that is a, a very high siege damage as bazooka fit now continues this onslaught of, of damage here the brewmaster trying to get within range there's some more siphon mana the, the chimeras with true shot aura and roar dealing well was dealing a tremendous amount of damage now nearly not as much as flying machines have taken to the skies to try and challenge those chimeras all right However, one flying machine not going to be enough as there is enough units on the ground to offer protection. There goes a breath of fire blowing over one mountain giant. If you learn Chimakri, you only attack with siege, never with a a magic ever again against buildings. Yeah, I know. I, I, I know. I know that is the case, but it, I was just pointing out that it would, it is interesting um, because the siege range 850 compared to 450 the normally the um, the chimeras uh, you want to try and siege down those guard towers out of range and it works when you're sieging out of range however if you're in range well 
it, it, the Chimeras should really just be trying to focus down to these units here. Ooh, Forest Troll Berserker gets a kill off on some of these units and now could go after the Ogre Magi and the Ogre Warriors here to give a little bit more experience as well. The, the, I guess the Priestess of the Moon is the only one that needs to get the experience now. So Priestess of the Moon should head over there to try and gain that experience, perhaps get to level 3 for level 2 True Shot Aura. Chimeras are retreating back here. One Chimera lost due to, well, due to, uh, I guess, being greedy. Meanwhile, FQQ continuing to do land grabs and expansions, um, taking, um, taking bases wherever a building isn't already established. All right, Chimeras going after or, or trying to flee from these fly machines. The fly machines, however, moving far too quickly. Um, and now one low hit point Chimera down to 32 hit points. Mountain Giants pushing back the other way here. There's Priest, Mana Burn, Brewmaster needs to try and fight. And well, I guess taking a, taking a play out of Song Su's Art of War, try to attack where your opponent is least strong. And well, all of the guard towers in the center position here, but nothing really on the wings. So just pushing from this side, still working out well. We're 27 minutes into this, well, seems to be a marathon of a game as the flying machines do have the bomb upgrade and are going to slowly be able to bombard the Bazooka Fitz base. Priestess of the Moon still sitting at level 2 after all this time. Mountain Giants could grab a couple of those, well, a couple of those trees and perhaps try and, and engage with Siege Damage. There's a Breath of Fire going across, and Bazooka Fit cannot try and dive and retreat constantly as it's just not really working. Alright, 58 supply compared to 68. Both sides falling um, falling both sides I, I don't know man flying machines continuing to bombard your bazooka fit not fully saturating that gold mine either and who is going to come out on top at this point all right here my kid waking up trying to figure out a timing and looking at this game all right, Bazooka Fit looking to well break down this town hall. It looks like he should be able to do it. There's a banish, however, on one of the mountain giants. The mountain giant was out of commission temporarily, but no able to finish the job there. Brewmaster is going to be trying to go back after these targets. There's a staff of preservation for the save. Are we going to look at the mana burn? No, we do not. As the Brewmaster falls back here, level two, um, level two drunken brawler. As still FQQ oversaturating this gold mine now down to the south side here tree of eternity moved over priestess of the moon will get to level three off of this creep camp here level two true shot aura um, most likely underway as we see a scroll of town portal to try and protect against these fly machines here are we going to be looking at a bunch of units falling orbs of venom do not poison the flying machines and well the priestess of the moon did not throw up an owl scout so unable to well hit those flying machines there priestess of the moon coming back around on the other side here demon hunter going after a couple of these peasants orb of venom being applied to multiple targets as all of these workers could get taken out easily. Meanwhile, flying machines are going after the Tree of Life here. Meanwhile, Fire Lord being for, uh, well, trying to figure out a way to deal with massed flying machines. No real AOE damage here. And without AOE damage, the Tree of Life is just getting absolutely bombarded with all of this siege damage. All right, both sides fighting their way through. It looks like this Tree of Life will end up getting blown over by that Brewmaster. Brewmaster now seeing that level 5 as the Fly Machine is able to fly overhead and get under the cover of air. Staff of Sanctuary from the Blood Mage able to save up a lone target, I believe. Yeah, a priest there. Meanwhile, Tree of Eternity near or trying to fully saturate this gold mine, getting a couple up, couple more wisps as the center gold mines are now far starting to finally run low. Um, well, I guess another 10 minutes of mining left. We're 30 minutes into this game. No clear winner as of yet. All right. 20 peasants, 32 workers for FQQ, 21 whiffs, 56 um, army size. So Bazooka Fit 
trying to a move and just destroy everything with this army going back to mountain giants mountain giants with that siege damage and melee melee with a bit of range trying to shut down these buildings here they're able to absorb quite a bit but without a keeper of the groves tranquility it is difficult to keep a mountain giant topped off on mana you almost need to have a druid of the claw spa in the back so to speak to just leave them in the back ready to constantly give rejuvenations for those mountain giants who head back out into the battlefield all right, Mountain Giant still trying to well, burst this down here. A couple of Cyclones coming across. I, I believe that was a Wand of the Wind. You can't imagine any other way. As we're looking at, well, no, Earth, Storm, and Fire. Sorry, excuse me, Storm. FQQ getting up to level 6 on the Panda. Earth, Storm, and Fire trying to, well, throw up a couple of these Mountain Giants again. And we still haven't seen anything else here as a Storm now trying to back away once more. Where is Earth? No. Earth, Storm, and Fire were all taken out. The Panda falls at level 6. Earth, Storm, and Fire being split up into multiple targets. And, and as long as you save one of them, the Panda comes back at the same amount of hit points. So that had to have been a grave miscalculation by FQQ as Bazooka Fit. Now level uh, 5, level 5, level 3. Priestess of the Moon getting very close to level 4 now. But level 2 Owl Scout pretty much not going to do much of anything. All right, Brewmaster resurrected at the tavern. Apparently, Bazo uh, FQQ had enough gold to go for that strategy there. Demon Hunter finishes off the Blood Mage, who was trying to siphon mana from the Priestess of the Moon. Priestess of the Moon now up to level 4 as the Demon Hunter dancing around once again. All right, mass repairs, guard towers, full masonry upgrades. And, and could could you imagine how much more powerful these guard towers would be if they actually had 800 hit points instead of 650? Yeah, the the armor is just um, the armor, and the, more importantly, the repair rate is really what is giving um, this a chance here. As we're looking at a low hit point mountain giant down to one hit point, but somehow lives to fight another day. All right, Brewmaster looking for a target, looking for a staff, looking for a breath of fire, a staff of preservation on the save though, as the towers are quickly being thrown back up for protection. Flying machines were trying to bombard the Tree of Eternity. Demon Hunter staffed of preservation back home, Orb of Venom, allowing him to attack those air units as we're looking at, well, more engagement ready. All right, what are the priests doing? Shouldn't the priest be healing? How come the priest does not auto heal the sorceress? There we go. Finally healing up these targets again. Rebuilding this gold mine here. This gold mine, uh, Tree of Life getting rebuilt as well. This starting location down to 10 minutes of mining. This, uh, this expo down to 15 minutes of mining. Multiple guard towers in the middle continuing to poke apart here are we going to see some damage go across these targets there goes a breath of fire again as the repairs are getting underway is it going to be enough uh, are there enough peasants where are the re uh, rest of the peasants down to 40 or 40 some odd hit points demon hunter not going to go after that there's a slow demon hunter does finish it off there's a staff of preservation saving one as the blood mage going to come across get some mana burns off onto the demon hunter again who is now down to 166 mana Demon Hunter, nearly level 6. We could be looking at Metamorphosis, that ultimate ability of that Demon Hunter being um, able to do quick attack chaos damage against these guard towers could be enough. As the Ivory Towers are waiting to get, well, healed back up. All right. In comes the Brewmaster. Brewmaster going to try and engage here. There's the Priestess of the Moon. There's a Breath of Fire. And wow, that Brewmaster diving in onto the priestess of the moon quickly taking her down and retreating back that priestess of the moon didn't even know what hit her as a mountain king joins in the fight at the 35 minute mark of this game all right 35 minute mark mountain king ready to get in some engagements here ivory towers easily taken down one at a time 35 minute yeah 35 minute end game not something you see every day 
as the flying machine is now coming around to try and bombard the Tree of Eternity. All right, Earth, Storm, and Fire are here as well. So this Tree of Eternity is going to end up falling. All right, Earth, Storm, and Fire easily going to be able to finish off this building here. Earth and Fire do deal normal damage. Uh, I believe Storm does piercing as siege engines are now rolling out as well. Siphon mana guard towers. Are we going to be looking at some auto attack damage? Yeah, auto attack damage finishing off a mountain giant instead of the blood mage getting in a little bit of damage. There goes a guard tower giving level 6 to the demon hunter who now has metamorphosis waiting for that little bit of extra mana. And now is he just going to, yes, metamorphosis and run on in here into this fight going after these targets, perhaps trying to focus down some of these units here and getting in some easy damage onto that guard tower. Guard tower one is going to need to fall. Multiple guard towers still fighting back the other way as siege engines are rolling inside the main base. Perhaps they're going to try and take down this altar of elders first. Altar of elders down to 650 hit points. Mountain King falls really quickly. Level one. And perhaps all it took was a, ma a mana burn or just a little bit of damage from that fire lord. As the fire lord, if he gets to level six, that does open up Volcano as an AoE ability to try and take down all of these buildings. Metamorphosis, well, Demon Hunter trying to finish off some more of these units. Blood Mage trying to retreat back. There's a Breath of Fire, and the Demon Hunter is going to return back to his normal self as he is actually a little bit too far pressed. Mountain Giants continuing to push through again, and I guess if you have this many Mountain Giants in the fight here, the Guard Towers, unless they're focusing down on a single Mountain Giant, aren't really that big of a threat for you. There goes another Breath of Fire. Mountain Giants, remember, do have natural resistance to magic as the Brewmaster comes across with a big critical strike right there. All right, Drunken Brawler Strike. That was a 236 critical strike from a Brewmaster. Not a, not a level five Blade Master, but a Brewmaster here. That is some serious damage indeed. Breath of Fire going after all of these targets now. Brewmaster is going to be able to blow over one of these targets once more. Perhaps get another or get another one or two. Demon Hunter doesn't have a Staff of Preservation. There's a Breath of Fire. There goes one Mountain Giant still going after the targets again and again. And the well, Brewmaster still has enough mana again. Are we going to see a mana burn? We do. And that is going to save the remaining Mountain Giants. But what is there to save inside the base of Bazooka Fit? who, well, is losing so many of his buildings now. Mountain Giants picking up those clubs, trying to take down these siege engines with that, well, siege damage, and is able to finish it off finally. Back over here, Volcano is completed. So Volcano getting channeled. These towers are going to get destroyed. So much stunning going around. Mountain King shows up to the party. And the Mountain King there to try and stop the Fire Lord's ultimate ability. All right. A Fire Lord Heat Flayer. Not Fire Lord Ozai, but still... Uh, well, summoning up a volcano to try and take down all of these bases. Back off to the north here. Ivory Tower is placed down again. Uh, it looks like FQQ is not giving up. Still mining off of this starting location. Five minutes of mining there. Meanwhile, Bazooka Fit is still mining in the center places. Let's get a I'll Phoenix in there as well. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Will he become the... Yeah. Or is he... Well, it would be interesting. Let's get some more. Yeah, get, let's get As the Mountain King trying to retreat back. One more attack. Demon Hunter able to finish off the Mountain King there as the Fire Lord still turning back around trying to fight its way through. Siphon Mana shutting down the Demon Hunter. Is he going to try and shut down the Fire Lord now? As the Fire Lord trying to retreat through. So much damage. So much just constant shifting back and forth as the siege engines are trying to take down these trees of life but the mountain giants with that siege damage more than enough to deal with those si uh, siege engines all right knight trying to catch up here are we going to see a couple of taunts a little bit of engagement Mountain or Brewmaster off over here. I think he was trying to line up a Breath of Fire against all of those Wisps. Not going to see it. Inner Fire now available for the Knights. So a little bit of additional armor as a Blood Mage siphoning the mana from that Fire Lord there. I believe that was a silence um, ca caused by that Soul Burn. So Soul Burn 
on there trying to retreat back here. Staff of Sanctuary saving, I believe, a low hit point knight as the Mountain Giant is are, are now well, suffering at the hands of the knights with those Sundering Blades. More Siphon mana here. The knights are trying to re uh, well, return fire or return in this engagement in the frontline spot. Blood Mage, uh, only hero pretty much with mana. Um, Fire Lord could be in trouble. No, Potion of Invulnerability. There's a mana burn against the Mountain King. Mountain King trying to go up against a level 6 Demon Hunter. And what is this here? The Fire Lord able to escape at 29. All right, both sides fighting their way through. Mountain King currently getting healed back up. Orb of Venom, both sides fighting their way through. Again, Panda, no mana, trying to push back the other way. A couple of additional Dryads. It looks as though this Mountain Giant could end up getting finished off. Mountain King does not get to level 2. Um, well, as the Brewmaster and the Blood Mage were still very much nearby. All right, still more healing. Chimeras now back out here onto the battlefield, trying to look at more and more units constantly. There's some more Siphon mana only to be canceled by that Soul Burn, which does silence a target. There's a Breath of Fire trying to blow things over as the Chimeras there to counter the Knights. And you can see how much damage those Chimeras do. Slow Poison making them, well, making that Knight have a difficult time trying to retreat back as the Fire Lord may try and set up another volcano somewhere and take down precious buildings. All right. Everyone, well, this game still kind of going a bit strange here. Fire Lord is going to try and let, yes, volcano just sprouting up out of the ground here, trying to stop um, any of the potential repairs. Meanwhile, the Chimeras with seed damage, able to really deal damage to this town hall, going to shut down this base in no time flat. However, it looks like it will be a trading of bases as Bazooka Fit losing this center gold mine location now. Are we going to be going down to... Well, what are, what are the mining opportunities now? Chimeras could engage against these towers here. Well, going to take down the Town Hall. Ivory Towers still poking back here. Or Arcane Towers still poking back the other way. Brewmaster or Panda coming back across, perhaps trying to blow over some of those units again. FQQ, Panda, Blood Mage, Mountain King going up against the Flyer. Fire Lord, Demon Hunter, Priestess of the Moon. More ultimate abilities could be had as we're looking at some flying machines getting taken down again. We are 43 minutes into this game and still no one has a clear, clear advantage. 64 supply compared to 59. No one able to really pull out ahead to try and close the door on this match. A couple of peasants easily going to fall here. And we're looking at the Chimeras with that 850 range able to deal significant damage to these buildings in the back here and, well without having to worry about um without taking any damage themselves so chimera is starting to clean things up fire lord sitting at level seven now level three soul burn level three incinerate on these units as the chimeras are looking to take down these guard towers and perhaps clean up the remainder of fqq's mining operations Flying machines coming in ready to engage against the Chimeras. It looks as though, well, those Chimeras down to 315 hit points. That is a lot of damage suddenly. One Chimera does get shot down pretty quickly. Two more Chimeras take its place. Those are supposed to be Chimeras, not Hydras, but seemingly working out well there as the Blood Mage gets taken out. The Chimeras are going to pretty much go unchallenged. Level 3 Blood Mage falls. Panda does go back into Earthstorm and fire as the Chimeras are looking to focus things down. Now remember though, the Earthstorm and fire, I, I believe, Earth and, and Storm, or Earth and fire have heavy armor, so they actually take additional bonus damage from the Chimeras, but the Fly Machine able to clean them all up. 36 supply compared to 26. Bazooka Fit losing all of those Chimeras now. What can be done? All right, more gold trying to be mined out here from the southern spot. It is currently, well, um, well, currently fending off, and that's pretty much it. Priest now bringing in flying machines with inner fire. Um, seems a bit of a waste, but anything that you need to try and clear out these buildings slightly faster um, is a good call. 
meanwhile, Bazooka Fit once more trying to saturate this gold mine down to the south. FQQ and now down to only four workers really needs to saturate these gold mines a bit more if he wants to restabilize his economy. Mana burn onto a demon hunter or onto a mountain king who's now seeing that level three breath of fire trying to blow things over. Fly machines looking to retreat back. Demon hunter should be able to catch up to these priests pretty easily, get in some parting blows and perhaps get in some kills as well. Yeah, there's an orb of venom strike. You're gonna look at that damage over time dropping so fast. There goes one as the auto attack on the f on the fire was it the fire lord no the demon hunter. Not quite sure how it was able to deal that much damage. Maybe it was both attacks at once. 32 supply compared to 32. FQQ has a slightly larger army. Bazooka Fit has slightly stronger heroes. Two level 7 heroes. And the, the Priestess of the Moon who um, has, has not been resurrected. Nope, has not been resurrected. So... Potom has not joined back out on the battlefield for quite some time. Meanwhile, well, Blood Mage and Mountain King now working together once more. As the mount, as the Brewmaster trying to sh well shut down this Mountain Giant. Mountain Giant down to 296 hit points. A little bit of damage per attack here. The Knight is trying to get in position. Perhaps we're going to be looking at a Staff of Preservation for a save. There's a Mana Burn. Brewmaster doesn't even have Drunken Haze to try and slow down these targets. Has level, or does have Drunken Haze, excuse me, to slow down the targets. Has level 3 Drunken Brawler. Mountain King gonna have enough mana for a Stormbolt here. There's a Stormbolt against the Fire Lord. Fire Lord could get taken down, giving level 4 to the Blood Mage. Level 7 Fire Lord and now finally down. Mountain Giant gonna fall as well. 232 Critical Strike. Another Stormbolt again. Bazooka Fit could be in some serious trouble trying to dodge and weave once more. All right, Mountain King needs a little bit of mana, but no mana on the Blood Mage, and then no mana on the Mountain King um, means, well, that mount that Blood Mage can't give enough to the Mountain King to really make a difference yet. Meanwhile, back down to the south, Flying Machines trying to bombard and finish off that Dryad, um, perhaps also going to take down this building, this last Tree of Life. All right, coming through once more. Demon Hunter, full now moon wells, ha limited gold, and, well, going to be even more gold-starved here in just a second as this Tree of Life is going to fall. Dryad's trying to come over to save it, taking down some of those flying machines. Demon Hunter coming back around. There's a mana burn as the Demon Hunter. Can he go into Metamorphosis and perhaps cause a little bit of problems? There's Orb of Venom. There's a mana burn again. The Knight needed to be constantly slow poisoned, but a Staff of Sanctuary saves it. Stopped the stream to watch mine. Um, no real reason to do that, but thank you for the raid. Thank you for the host. Um, yeah. Bazooka Fit looks like he's able to hold on to this gold mine a little bit longer. There's still a little bit of mining happening in the center here. One cannon tower off to the side as Earthstorm and Fire are getting ready to engage against, um, well, Metamorphosis Demon Hunter. All right, interestingly enough, the, the Demon Hunter gonna end up getting surrounded by multiple heroes here. Earth, Storm, and Fire coming in with the surround. Mountain King, however, in a little bit of trouble as the Mountain King needs to back away. Mountain King down to 63 hit points, gets the Staff of Preservation back home. Meanwhile, the Storm is continuing to just blast a bunch of that chaos damage around. All right, once more, some more Siphon mana, more damage. Blood Mage now down to 50 hit points. Is he gonna try and get away? No, yeah, well, he tries to get away, but staff of teleportation behind the tree line not enough both sides still fighting through demon hunter could turn back around perhaps try and get in some of that damage here against all of these targets there's a breath of fire a low hit point a dryad gonna easily get cleaned up here demon hunter metamorphosis continuing to fight his way after all of these targets all right pushing his your kid's gonna be late today because of that game well maybe no, the kids are still on spring break, luckily. So this is the last day of their spring break. Hence the reason why I can cast this 50-minute marathon of a game with still 
um, no clear winner as of yet. It really will come down to how the heroes are used in this upcoming fight here. Fire Lord sitting at um, old Demon Hunter nearly at level eight does get to level eight, and at this point, um, every every level is just just more auto attack damage than anything else. The spells don't matter um, nearly as much. Demon Hunter has maxed out evasion, maxed out mana burn. If he's is he really gonna have mana for immolation is the question now. As a storm bolt, well, hits that Demon Hunter in the face. Bazooka Fit still trying to mine from this southern spot here. And now Demon Hunter gets stabbed at Preservation back home. Going to try and fight his way through against all of these targets. But there's simply too many knights. And that Brewmaster can occasionally get in some big, big shots as well. Now, for, for reference, um, I believe level 3 Drunken Brawler is the equivalent of, of having... Um, level 2 Critical Strike and Level 2 Evasion at the same time. So, um, quite, quite powerful indeed for that uh, Drunken Brawler going up against the Broom, or going in against the Demon Hunter. Brewmaster, however, doesn't have as much armor compared to the Demon Hunter, um, hence the reason why the fights aren't going the way he expects. Chimera is back out here onto the battlefield, and the sudden appearance of Chimera is giving well bazooka fit the ability to well counter these knights again we've been constantly seeing different counters being played over and over and over again are we gonna perhaps now have another squadron of flying machines take to the skies to deal with this chimera as we're looking at more fighting getting underway here brewmaster able to take down that one dryad there is siphon or mana burn there is a siphon mana both sides fighting their way through demon hunter still looking strong here orb of venom coupled with slow poison staff of preservation or sanctuary bringing the uh, blood mage all the way back home level seven level eight um well, Demon Hunter, Fire Lord. Fire Lord, does he have enough mana to tr perhaps try and go for another volcano here? That is the question, but I believe Cyclone would just shut it down. And, well, you do not want... You want to make sure that you have the option to try and cast that very powerful ability and keep it channeled. All right, in comes Earth. Earth trying to dive on in here with those strong attacks. But remember, Earth is... As strong as Earthstorm and Fire is, I do not believe those three are actually as powerful as a level 8 um, Brewmaster any longer. It's one of those abilities that, um, well, the metamorphosis on the Demon Hunter actually scales better than Earthstorm and Fire. Since Earthstorm and Fire, you just get um, three, um, three what I would call five supply units at the same time. A town is under siege. All right. Coming back through, Altar of Elders trying to retrain that Priestess of the Moon. It does not look like it will see the light of day. Demon Hunter coming in from behind, perhaps getting a mana burn off onto a target. There's a Storm Bolt instead met with a bolt to the face. 39 supply compared to 26. Staff of Sanctuary saving a knight once more. All right, do we see any more mining? Yes, FQQ currently mining with one peasant only and now trying to perhaps get enough gold out here on the battlefield to keep the fight going. Mountain King, well, that doesn't have any items. Staff of Sanctuary perhaps going to be used to save that Mountain King there. We can see there's one cannon tower here. There's another mana burn. FQQ is mining pretty consistently here as we see a volcano now being brought over. All right, perfect timing. However, the flying machines do come over, and this is going to be a definite problem trying to take down these chimeras. All right, the volcano, constant waves of destruction here. Is it going to be enough to shut down one of these bases as the Fire Lord as well stopped the channel? And here we are. There's a siphon mana of Demon Hunter trying to fight its way back through, getting banished again as the Fire Lord down to 31 hit points trying to retreat back and will be able to get away. No, a knight is on its tail trying to chase up to that chase down that fire lord fire lord has a long walk to try and get all the way back home down to 52 53 hit points as the blood mage falls at level four all right is it going to one auto attack and then get in yes but now turns around and going to engage against this knight all right blood mage falls at level four brewmaster a mountain king alive where is the brewmaster fqq has left the game 
I can, could not find the broom. Where is the brewmaster? Is he dead? But the my overlay isn't showing it properly. All right, a true maddening game, trying to figure out everything that was happening here. Bazooka Fit able to hold on, reestablish gold mines, at, retrain up the Priestess of the Moon, and get this Fire Lord back home to challenge that knight there. So I don't even know how to wrap up this 55-minute game, this marathon of a game. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below.